My name is uh, Lieutenant Colonel Bob Hines. Uh, I was selected in the uh, 2017 uh, group of astronauts. They were the 22nd group of astronauts, and I was the pilot on SpaceX Crew-4 mission to the International Space Station. Now, being in the Air Force, uh, it just opened so many doors for me. Uh, I, I always wanted to fly and be a pilot for as long as I could remember, uh, and so the Air Force was a very natural place uh, for me to land, no, no pun intended. Uh, but uh, during my career, uh, especially once I applied to test pilot school and got accepted, it certainly opened up doors that, uh, that I never could have imagined. And so the opportunity to represent the Air Force uh, as a NASA astronaut is an incredible honor. Uh, and there are so many people that are just as qualified, uh, if not more so, uh, that could have done it too. So to be, to be given that, that privilege is, uh, is really humbling. I think young people that uh, aspire to do anything, uh, whether it be an astronaut or be a doctor or a lawyer, I think the, the important thing is to find something you're passionate about and really go after that. Don't, uh, don't let anybody set any barriers uh, for you. Uh, just you know, find the thing you're passionate about and if you're passionate about it, you'll naturally want to be very good at it and you'll excel. Uh, you never know what doors are, op are gonna open for you along the way and so for me, it was, uh, it was very much about enjoying the journey. It wasn't as much about the destination uh, and I still don't know where it's gonna lead, uh, but it's been an amazing journey so far. My name is Raj Achari. I'm a colonel in the Air Force, I'm still active duty. Uh, my experience at NASA, I left the Air Force or moved from the Air Force in 2017 and started training at NASA. I uh, did about two years of what we call astronaut candidate training and then started working in the commercial crew program and got assigned to fly, flew on the Crew-3 Dragon mission to the space station, spent about six months up there and now I work on the Lunar Lander program for NASA. Uh, so for me, being in the Air Force was uh, pretty much my goal <laughs> to begin with. I think, you know, as a, a five-year-old, I wanted to be an astronaut. And then somewhere around that middle school uh, age, I thought, well, that's probably impossible, but I really could fly. That sounds like a really cool thing. Um, and so that really became my goal. And along the way, I was very interested in space and doing things that enabled space, but it really wasn't until test pilot school that it dawned on me that, oh, actually, there's a path to, to flying in space. And I think, um, you know, being, an Air Force pilot, it's not just unique to the pilot career profession, I think really almost any career field in the Air Force, you have this blend of operational decision-making, risk management, and also doing those things while the mission is happening and, and being dynamic. All these things are the skill set that's very applicable to space, which is basically working as a team, a highly functioning team, in a place in an inhospitable environment and trying to survive and thrive in that environment.